sun's beginning to fall here in Bend, Oregon at the Crimson Trace Midnight Three Gun Invitational. And when the sun goes down here in Bend, that's when the fun begins. It's all about lights and lasers as competitors vie for top honors at the Crimson Trace Midnight Shoot. It's amazingly hard to shoot at night. I mean, you, you look at these stages in the daylight and you say, boy, these, these are easy. This is a cakewalk. I'm going to remember that there's 10 shots here, that there's 10 shots there. I'm going to remember this is my reload point, and then somebody turned out the lights. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember any of those things. It's really a lot of fun. It's a hard challenge. So what was the highlight of this stage for you? Being able to shoot the SCAR full auto was really cool. Hitting the grenade launcher, which I'd never had a chance to shoot before, that was awesome. Well, when you're shooting in lens daylight, you can see all the targets. You know where they are, you know the stage description. You figure that all out in advance. But if you forget something, there's always the light. You can fix it in the moment. But in the dark, if you pass a target array and you don't see it, there's not a whole lot to figure out that you just missed six targets. And all of a sudden, you go from having a fantastic run to being on the bottom of the list. It's dark. I mean, it's not dark. It's pitch black. And to see these people out here, other members of the press, as well as some of the pros, make it really look like, wow, it's almost easy. But you know what? It's not. It's not easy at all. We started this event uh, predominantly because we wanted to get a whole bunch of people, media, the top shooters in the world, top shooters in the country, to the, to the Pacific Northwest. And we wanted to show everyone uh, beautiful central Oregon, where we're from and where we live and what we're about. But most importantly, we want everybody to realize the benefits of laser sighting systems for their personal protection handguns. We want to be a leader in the industry, and this is what leaders do. They sponsor events like this, they introduce people to their products, and they create a fun environment for people to experience those things. If you want to learn how to shoot in the dark, you got to get out to a range and get some practice. We've got a great website that will help you find that range. It's called wheretoshoot.org. And when you're on the range or in the field, remember, Firearm safety depends on you.